is Ellen Villa's Turn. This one is in Champagne Rooted. This one is in Sandy Blonde Rooted. We're gonna compare uh, the colors today, but I also want to compare the styles. The Ellen Villa's Turn in Champagne Rooted was my first one, and this was purchased over a year ago. The one on the right, which is the Sandy Blonde Rooted, that was uh, just sent to me for review by Wig Studio One. You can see that it's ba they barely resemble the same wig at all. My preference is for the original uh, turn in Champagne Rooted. You can see there's more volume in the Champagne Rooted. The layers are obviously longer as well. Looking at it from the side, You can see there's just, there's more hair, there's more volume on the Champagne Rooted. It's a little choppier and finer on the Sandy Blonde Rooted one. Then from the back, you can see where there's a slight stacking effect here on the Champagne Rooted, nice body. Over here on the Sandy Blonde Rooted, the crown actually covers up the nape, so you don't get the stacking effect there. You can also tell the fineness of the fiber on the Sandy Blonde Rooted, whereas it's a little thicker and a little more body over here on the Champagne Rooted. A view from the left. So now we're going to take a look at the differences in color. On the left hand side is the Champagne Rooted. Um, it's a light beige blonde. It has some honey mixed in there and then some platinum. And all of that is on a medium brown root. It's light and bright around the face. It's more neutral to cool in tone. Over here on the Sandy Blonde Rooted, the base color is a medium honey, so that's basically what you're gonna see the most. Um, there is some very fine highlights of some ash, some pale ash blonde. And then underneath you'll find a little bit of uh, a rusty, a light rusty brown, which kind of uh, just give it some dimension there. And all of that is on a medium root. Overall, this appearance is more neutral in tone and it just gives the appearance of like a dirty, a dirty blonde. 